What is up YouTube, Johnny B here again today and I'm gonna be bringing you a video on cars that I normally don't work on because I usually stick to FRSs, to Japanese cars. The European cars are a little bit more difficult to work on. They require some special tools, but we're gonna be doing something simple. This is a 2017 Audi TTS. Uh, so it comes four cylinder, all wheel drive. It has like 370 horsepower uh, after it's been tuned obviously. And then, uh the car is completely stock the owner used to be a brz owner he wanted to change it up he's always wanted a tt uh but now that they look like this he decided to finally get one the car makes a ton of power he says he's enjoying it a lot and he just wants to do some little little like subtle ch changes to it and one of the things that we're going to be doing is actually replacing this grill with the honeycomb one that's uh i believe it's like the rs style one uh, so that way the front gets you know that much more of a better look instead of being like this flat plastic color it's going to be like a nice shiny gloss black and it's going to make the front end pop just that much more so let's get started we're going to go ahead and remove this bumper and re replace the grill so here it is first off we're going to start off by opening the hood look at that four cylinders that make a ton of power because they have a decent sized turbo back here actually it's it's, it's a big size for being a stock turbo. So the first thing we're gonna do, I'm sure there's gonna be clips here just like any other car. So let's go ahead and remove this panel. That came off a bit easier than I expected, but it's good to see that it comes off fairly easy. Move that out of the way. And then looks like we have some star bits here holding up the bumper and then we have some other stuff. So we're gonna go ahead, lift up the car a little bit because there's gonna be bolts through everywhere i imagine i'm guessing 20 bolts i'm guessing 20 bolts because we've done i've done an s4 before and there was so many bolts in random places so there go the first two so we got the car up and i'm just looking at all like the little extras that the tt with the s comes with it has some like really nice wheels nice big brake kit it's got super nice interior the screen on the dash is literally amazing it's 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 gorgeous to see like these nice luxury cars uh, so yeah, let's get to enjoy watching them, but not owning them. Cause I don't like buying these for my personal use. So let's get started. Remove this bumper. So we got the bumper off and it, it was pretty close to what I guessed. There was like 12 on the bottom. There was four on each side and then you had two at the top one. So you have one, two, three. And then the fourth one goes up into the fender. And then all 12 of them were just literally underneath. They're all like fairly easy to see. You just kind of go ahead and take them all out with including this like bottom plastic piece. Uh, and they come right off. So we took it off on this side. And then just those two, there's one connector here. You just pull this little red tab back and it pops right off. And it was just like a, a star bit. We have like a little kit of star bits. So it's found whichever one was the right one. And we did it. So now we have to use that same star bit most likely and take apart every single bolt that's holding on the grill we're going to remove the grill we're going to transfer over this tts emblem and then we're also going to transfer over these front uh parking sensors there's two of them the car has four of them on the bumper but just two of them are in the grill and then this one has like this little cover here that actually hides the crash bar but the rs1 doesn't it's completely see-through so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're actually going to flat black this crash bar so that way when you go to put the grill on put the bumper on you're not going to see this big old silver thing it's just going to be black flat flat black and it's just going to blend in you're not even going to see it so when we're going to install the new grill the bottom of it is actually different so these these little like bolt points that bolt up here uh they work great with the factory one but with the new one it has a different style down here so there's like this little like tab thing that goes on that bottom section right there of the bumper where the grill attaches to. So all we did is go ahead and chop it off. And with this being chopped off, these tabs were completely in the way. So chopped all that off and the grill is now sitting on there properly. Everything is like nice and where it should be. And it's looking super good. I'm excited about the fitment. The fitment came out great all the way around and it clips in. So that's what I wanted. It was mainly the, the biggest issue, but we got it done. So grill's looking good. And now let's put the bumper back onto the car. So bumper's on with the new grill. We got it, everything to line up exactly how it should be. Got that 
that fender to bumper gap perfect everything is lining up to where it needs to be all the gaps underneath the, the lights and everything is looking perfect the grill is looking amazing with this part painted flat black underneath you can see the crash bar was originally silver but with the flat black look at that you can't even tell there was a crash bar there so now we're gonna go ahead and put up all the bolts and then uh we should be done so here we are bumpers on grills on it's all put together the car is looking amazing the car has a gorgeous interior look at that now you guys can see the the dash that it has it even has the gps in it so it's a super cool car then you have a little manual wing that you can actually raise up and down and it's got like a black trim package so all the emblems even the exhaust tips are black which looks really cool it has the upgraded rs wheels so cool little car to work, work on i love the seats so that's gonna be it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed hope this helped you if you're doing the same thing to your audi because uh, this, this applies to all the Audis. They, even though the S4, we've done, we've done an RS grill on an S4, and it was the same process, same exact grill, or it looks exactly the same, but I'm sure it has a little bit of differences. But it's all relatively the same thing, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, you have a great day.